Go ahead, step out of the car. After having a gun pointed at him during a tense Connecticut traffic stop earlier this month, Yankees GM Brian Cashman is telling his side of the story on television for the first time this morning. I complied with all their directives so they could do their jobs, check all the boxes to make sure that public safety was in play and that their safety was in place. The 52-year-old Yankees boss had just gotten his Jeep Wrangler back from the Bronx after it was stolen from his Fairfield County home two weeks ago. However, the NYPD didn't clear the car from the stolen vehicle registry. And not only did his license plates ping as he crossed state lines, simultaneously there was a call for an armed and unhinged man driving the same car in Darien. Little did I know that my car was never taken off the stolen vehicle oh, list, one. And two, at the same time I rolled into Darien to get gas, they were looking for a white male driving a white Jeep Wrangler that had a gun. We had a guy that showed his gun in a doctor's office. Left in a Jeep Wrangler. Okay. And then we're driving around looking for that Jeep Wrangler. Once everything was sorted out with local police, Cashman was on his way. Now you got a story for the guys. Listen, the uh, police officers, New York, Connecticut, Jersey, countrywide, they do an amazing job and, and they got a tough job, as tough as anybody. So nothing but respect for them. I appreciate their professionalism. Well, for someone who's used to living life in the fast lane, he barely broke a sweat during this whole heated ordeal. Cashman told us the last thing he wanted was for it to become a spectacle. But when you're the Yankees GM, of course, that's hard to hide around these parts. Live in the newsroom, I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, PIX11 News. All right, Anthony, thanks.